Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I've got an assault rifle to play with. This came from a recent purveyor video. It is anti-armor plus 50% critical damage and 25% reduced AP costs, which to me is the perfect combination of effects. I do have it modified for VAT's efficiency with one exception. Uh, I'm using a drum magazine. Uh, you can see that the VAT's, uh, the AP cost is three and you could actually get that, that down to two by using a quick magazine, but then I'd only be able to hold 20 rounds instead of 30. And so I do think that's a fair trade. The drum magazine is actually VAT's neutral. It doesn't lower or raise AP cost, but three is still exceptional. This is my typical commando build. I have all the commando cards maxed out. Along with Tenderizer, I have Party Boy. I'm using that because I use Sweetwater Special Blend and that will increase my perception by 12. It's a critical build, so I do use better criticals and critical savvy. We also play in stealth, so we'll be using Covert Operative for a little bit of extra damage. And I also have Follow Through for extra damage. As far as the mutations go, I have Speed Demon, which really does help with that reload speed. I have Herbivore, gives me a little bit of extra, extra points to all my specials. I have Herbivore because it gives me double the benefit from all my veggie meals. Eagle Eyes for extra critical damage and perception. Bird Bones for extra agility, which increases our AP and helps with stealth. Uh, as far as food buffs go, I use Company Tea for AP regen. Steep Melon Blossom Chai for agility, extra agility. Sweetwater Special Blend, which I already mentioned. Blight Soup for extra critical damage. Now, I, I know a lot of people dismiss the assault rifle because it uses the same amount of ammo or the same type of ammo and it pretty much does everything the same as the handmade. The range is the same, the weight is the same. Get rid of the noise from this uh, code piece here. And the damage difference really isn't all that much. This only does about 10% less damage than, 10%, uh, maybe like 12% less damage than a handmade, which isn't all that much, really. Especially once you start using in critical hits, figuring for, uh, figure for our, uh, enemy armor and you know, it'll reduce your damage somewhat. So it's really not that big of a difference. As you can see, everything dies very quickly. So yeah, I I really like the Assault Rifle. I think it's a lot of fun. It, uh, I think it looks, I mean, I know a lot of people don't like the look. I actually think the look of it is, is kind of cool. It's kind of fun. It is different than pretty much anything else. And you can see, I mean, the AP cost is just nothing uh, with that combination of effects and the mods that I'm using. So I can pretty much stay in VATS for, I mean, I could reload, especially with a drum magazine, which holds 30 rounds. I could stay in VATS for at least four reloads if the enemies lasted that long. And of course the assault rifle has crazy fast reloads. Now, now what I have now, the drum mag actually slows the reload speed. So this is with a slower reload speed. This is what it looks like. So it's almost instantaneous. So imagine that if you had a, a quick magazine, which increases reload speed. You, uh, you're basically reloading instantaneous. So even if you do use that with the 20 round mag, uh, you're, you're gonna reload a lot more, but the reloads are gonna be so fast, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. But still, okay, come on, cooperate. Now, there's usually a dog around here somewhere, but I don't see him, maybe he ran off. I think for the most part, if you had a handmade and an assault rifle side by side and they had the exact same effects, you'd be hard pressed to notice the damage difference between the two. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that. Like, I don't have a handmade and a, an assault rifle to compare, so I can't really do that test. I mean, I could with non-legendaries, but uh, the numbers, and just by going feel, I mean, I've used handmaids a lot, and I've used assault rifles quite a bit, and I can tell you, they don't, f I mean, they feel a little different just because they are different guns, but in terms of damage, enemies don't seem to die any, any quicker, any slower. Oh, got a legendary. Let's see if I get something amazing. Uh, did I get something amazing? I did not. A cloaking excavator left leg. That will look good in the script machine. Now, one thing I I think the handmade does a little different or a little better, although maybe it's not better. Maybe it's just my perception of what's better. But it does feel this this does feel a little bouncier when you're trying to manually aim. Uh, now I do have it set up for vats, so it won't be as stable. But my handmade is set up for vats as well, and it doesn't feel as bouncy. And maybe that's just how the gun feels versus uh, reality. Uh oh. Well, he. Uh, Flanked me, but we got rid of him really easily. Now, I would expect this fight to go reasonably well. I think I like the the sound of the handmade a little better, too. I'm, I'm not crazy about the sound of this. Now, if it was faster fire rate, for sure, but uh, with the normal fire rate, I'm not super crazy about the way that this sounds. But I love the way it feels, and I love those reloads. They're so fast. I think just in general, I prefer the feel of faster fire rate versus, I mean, Critical damage is, is probably the star I like the best just because it does the most damage, but uh, I, I like the feel of faster fire eight. So we're still in caution, which is good. 
And we are taking care of business. Having that, uh... The drum mag is actually really nice. That is one thing I like about this versus uh, other weapons. You can have the drum mag, it doesn't affect AP cost, and it still reloads rather quickly. So having 30 rounds versus 25 doesn't sound like a lot, but it certainly feels like a lot more. All right, let's give this guy a nudge, wake him up, and uh, wait for him to do his early morning stretch. We don't want to be rude and interrupt that. And now we let him have it. Oh, he's two stars. Maybe I'll get something good. Probably won't. Ugh, not quite enough to finish him off. A couple more rounds, that'll do it. And there you have it, the assault rifle. If you end up with one that has a good combination of effects, don't be disappointed that it's not a handmade. Give it a try. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.